Welcome to this Tutor to You revision video that looks at the different strategies in place to protect tropical rainforests at the national level. This is part of Paper 1, Unit B, The Living World. The national government of a country has responsibility for promoting economic development and protecting the environment, but this can be a huge conflict of interest. So how do they strike a balance? Well, it's very difficult for countries to find a sustainable balance between the environment and the economy. They can easily choose not to use the land at all, which would enable ecosystems to find their own balance. However, this does mean that there will be a substantial economic impact and development will be hindered, along with the quality of life of the population. So governments have the tricky balance between ensuring their country prospers, but their environment remains protected. So how do they do this? One of the things that they can do is they can bring in government legislation. They have the power to bring in legislation in the form of new environmental laws to protect ecosystems. Or they can do things like stopping the exploitation of the rainforest by developers, perhaps by stopping a mining project or a new dam that's part of a big hydroelectric power scheme. They can also make subjects such as ecology or environmental studies a compulsory part of the school or curriculum. This means that people are educated from an early age about the importance of conservation and the consequences of exploitation. Governments can also choose to set aside areas for conservation. So tropical rainforests can be, be preserved in conservation areas, such as national parks or nature reserves. These areas can be used for education, scientific research and tourism. Recently, large international businesses have supported conservation projects in exchange for carrying out scientific research or extracting raw materials. So why do governments struggle to protect their valuable ecosystems? Well, as usual, it comes down to money. Very few governments are willing to do anything that might slow down the rate of economic development within their country. And environmental protection costs money. As a result, many governments won't enforce or monitor laws aimed at protecting or conserving tropical rainforests. Additionally, in terms of a desire to protect the environment from the point of view of the country's inhabitants, many people living in developing nations would rather have better living standards than new nature reserves. And to top it off, corruption often gets in the way of tropical rainforest management, for example, where illegal loggers and developers pay bribes to government officials in order for them to turn a blind eye to their exploitation. That concludes this Tutor to You revision video focusing on different strategies in place to protect tropical rainforests at the national level. Thank you for watching.